Hello everybody, welcome to Sunday School. This is Miss Marianne. I hope you guys are all doing really well and um, finding some fun things to do out there. Um, obviously, I'm telling my story a little different today. We are doing the Godly Play version of the story because I think it's a little easier to understand the story when you see it um, than just hear it. So we're going to do that today. In our story today, we are uh, picking up where we left off last week. So we are in our Old Testament unit, also called the Hebrew Bible, um, the ancient stories that Jesus would have grown up with. And last week, we heard the story of Moses. So Moses is in the story, and we are telling another piece of the story of an important thing that we got from Moses. So, um, and you may have heard this one before, and it may be familiar to you, but can always hear new and different things in them. So stay with me if it seems familiar. But let us get started first by lighting our candle and doing our opening prayer. Um, if you have your altar from um, the drive-thru, your, your things there, you can bring it. I did bring mine down here, so it is right back here. My uh, little, little cross, little teeny tiny little cross. And uh, I put some rocks on my altar and I did bring down my uh, battery operated candle Obviously, I'll be using this one, but you can light yours once we get this lit. So let's do that. We'll light our candle and do our opening prayer. There we go. Now let's just take a second to take a deep breath and get ourselves ready to hear our prayer and our story today. Dear God, thank you for this way of being together. Thank you for helping us to find ways to love each other and to love you and to create the beautiful community that you want for us. Amen. I will put that back here. All right, so the people of God had been freed. They were out of Egypt. They had come out of Egypt where they had been slaves and they were free. Moses led them. into the desert. And life was hard in the desert. And they were traveling across the desert. And they were free now. They had been slaves in Egypt, but now they were free and they could go wherever they want and do whatever they want. But what was the best way? And God gave them 10 best ways to live, to help them get along and be a good community. Would you believe that as the people were crossing the desert, there wasn't much food and there was little water and they started to complain some of them even wanted to go back to Egypt where they had been slaves. And Moses led them and told them that God would provide for them. And during the day, God did provide. God provided manna for food and God led them. They traveled by fire by night and smoke by day that God provided. And eventually God led them to a great mountain called Mount Sinai. And the mountain was covered in smoke and fog. It looked like it was on fire. And the people came close to it, but not too close. Only Moses had the courage to go up the mountain and into the fog and up there, Moses met God. 
God came so close to Moses and Moses came so close to God that Moses knew what God wanted him to do. God wanted him to write down the 10 best ways onto stone tablets and take them down to the people. So Moses did. He put the 10 best ways on tablets and brought them down to the people. And then the people gave them to us. These are the 10 best ways. The 10 best ways teach us how to love God, to love people, and they help remind us that God loves you. God loves us. The first way is to trust God. The second is to put God first. The third is to be serious when you say God's name. Do not say it lightly or in a way that you don't mean it. The fourth way teaches us both how to love God and to love people. And that is to take one day a week that is just for God and for rest. The fifth way is to treat your parents with respect. Do not kill. Keep your promises. Do not steal. Do not lie. And to be satisfied with what you have, to not want other people's things. Now, God did not say that these were 10 easy things to do, because they are not. They are hard. And God doesn't expect us to be perfect all the time, or maybe even most of the time, I don't know. God just wants us to strive, to try and follow them as best we can. Because if we do, we will be loving God and loving each other. And we will always remember that God loves us. So I wonder, what you think about this story. I wonder which of these rules you have followed this week. I wonder which of these rules you think is the most important. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder which of these rules you think is the hardest to follow. Is it hard to not lie? Is it hard to trust God? Is it hard to keep a whole day that is just for being with God and resting? Is it hard to keep all your promises? Is it hard to be satisfied with what you have? I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm already thinking about what I want for Christmas, which means I'm not satisfied with what I have. I think that can be hard. Hmm. I wonder.
wonder. I wonder which of these roles you think is especially for you. And now back to our story part. I wonder what you thought about that story. I wonder what, um, how Moses felt when the people were complaining about wanting to go back to Egypt after he had freed them, worked so hard at it. Moses climbed up the mountain to be with God, and I wonder what he saw up there. I wonder what he heard, how he felt. I wonder. I wonder what part of the story you think is the most important. And I wonder where you are in this story or what part of it is especially for you. And I wonder what you are gonna do this week. I hope you find something fun. Let us bring back our candle and we will do our closing. If you have your card, you can say the closing prayer with me. Loving God, thank you for the times that bring us close to you and to one another. Help us to remember that you are always with us. Amen. And I will change this light so the light of Christ can be with you wherever you are and wherever you go. This light will find you and it will be there when you need it. Blessing you guys. Take care of yourselves.